we have a skit that would be pre presented to us by Deeptanshu and uh, Stavik. You about uh, both of them, right? So here we can see the dances here. This is playing the role of a boy who attended the sessions reluctantly and doesn't believe that these lessons that we just now saw in the workshop are practical uh, or are relevant to our lives, right? Whereas Sathvik, you know, here is a very enthusiastic young boy who has derived a great inspiration from these sessions and very eagerly looks upon the principles that he had drawn, right? So now both of them are conversing. About this workshop, right? So now we can hear from both of them. Greetings, Dean. How are you doing? Our school starts in three days. Have you done your assignments? Great, Sathvik. I'm enjoying New Year. The so New Year is now three days old. Oh, I'm here to do those assignments for physics. You are so intelligent. I was looking forward to clearing my doubts. Dude, I'm too busy with my friends now. Please do complete them and send it to me. After. I'll put in my name and submit. You can easily do them. Why do you want to copy from others? Didn't you attend the winter camp for top values from Bhagavad Gita? Oh, please don't remind me of those boring sessions. Who's going to become a leader by reading that dead gone stuff? You need to learn how to speak well, make friends, be cool, bold, and adventurous. That makes a real leader. Difference between leadership values and leadership skills. I am wondering how you missed such important points. My mother pushed me to register. I was not interested in learning values from Bhagavad Gita. Therefore, I was not listening attentively on what they thought. Did they say anything about this? Yes. Leadership skills are like the external traits of a good leader, like communication, body language, and human interactions. Oh, is it? But leadership values are deep principles and values that are built over a long period of practice. Values like purpose, determination, positivity, discipline, cooperation, etc. and many more. This is like making a building. If you want the building to stand, the, um, stand to the test of time, it should have a strong foundation. To change the external appearance is not difficult. But to change the foundation once it is built is next to impossible. Acquiring leadership skills is like a good communication and presenting presentation is like painting a wall uh, painting the wall of the building. But the foundation of the building are the are the values on which we rest. Even if what you're saying is correct, those things can be learned by our own life experience and by reading books or from our best teacher, Google. Why waste the early years in these trivial matters? There's so much more to enjoy and experience. Once you lose these golden years, you'll just remain a grand old man. Oh, probably true. These years are the golden years of our life. If you don't equip yourself with the right values, you will surely waste them. Now, these are essentially all ways. You should open you should open open up, make friends, learn coding, design, and other such useful skills in the modern day. Learn to enjoy different colors in life. And, and by the way, experience is the best teacher. Oh, Let me explain this to you with a beautiful analogy we learned in the session. There is a good dog and a bad dog within us. The good dog urges us to do the good and right things according to high morals like honesty, integrity, discipline, compassion, and positivity. While the bad dog within compels us to do bad, harm others, break laws, go against right principles, and enjoy in wrong ways. Now the dog we choose to win, um, to, um, uh, now the dog who is going to win is the dog we choose to feed. This is the golden age of our life. If you choose to feed the good dog now, you will naturally grow up to become a positive person who inspires others by their good conduct and positivity. Now, if you choose to feed the bad dog, you will naturally develop bad qualities in the mindset of exploiting others. And once you grow with them, it will be difficult to get rid of your bad habits, even though you may want to improve. Old habits die hard. And you know our experiences are also subject to the values we carry. You, you see the world with the perception you carry. Like a person wearing blue lenses sees everything blue. If you don't develop right values, how can we see things right? 
you know um you know we got to learn and experience so many wonderful things in the camp we had fun quizzes amazing question answer sessions and most interesting part was the last session about the veda science and god i never knew the vedas contained so much valuable wisdom and higher technology i just used to consider it a mythology child stories now it now how much the vedic knowledge makes sense to me not only that it not not only that it that it's um, that it also gave a purpose to live and serve and to make a better world where do we have time to learn these things we have so many assignments so many movies to watch so many video games to play and so and rubbish friends to scroll with that's why our sessions are only on weekends just for an hour and so much to learn experience and transform and you can meet good friends there as well to be honest sathik I fear that if I become too interested in these subjects, I might lose my career. I don't want to be a monk at all. Give up these ideas, Dean. After all, our mentors are all accomplished professionals in their lives, but they have a purpose to contribute to the society. And with the right values, you will feel more focused to study and learn new skills. Science and spirituality can go hand in hand. Just like Arjuna, he was a great warrior and a great devotee of Lord Krishna. Thank you, Sathvik, for opening my eyes. If only I had attended the camp nicely. Oh, I do regret that badly now. Thank you for telling me that just so beautifully. If only I had real friends like you. You are a wonderful person, Dean. And don't worry about the winter camp that's ended. But the new year is about to start and we can attend these sessions every weekend now. See you there, and let's connect to discuss physics. So surely be there, and you and now I know the value of that, and it will be my pleasure to assist you. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, bro! Wonderful, wonderful. So all of you in your own places, say loud, hey, bro, for this two wonderful actors. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. And both of them played their roles so wonderfully, right? I mean, I'm thoroughly impressed because I was thinking, you know, in online mode, how the skit and how the drama would be, but this is absolutely fabulous. I mean, good job. <laughs> I could like whole day watch your drama. It was like so, especially Dittanshu. He played the part so nicely, and Satvik as well. All the lines he he spoke with such dedication and meaning. So. Thank you wonderful job